Welcome to the 12th annual Rotax Max Challenge Grand Finals here at Alain Raceway in the United Arab Emirates. It's an exciting time for the 264 competitors arriving from 60 different countries and five continents to compete in the world's most prestigious karting event. Alain Raceway first hosted the finals back in 2007 and this year's challenge promises to be no less exciting. For a number of years we've worked on our domestic series to really build the level of competition uh, and now we've got a number of representatives from UAE competing on a world stage with some of the countries that are far more developed and advanced when it comes to racing. Um, so to hold an event of this stature in this country where we're really, you know, behind the rest of the world in terms of uh, motorsport, it, it's very impressive and, uh, and a very a big privilege. We have uh, ex-champions who are competing here. Um, hopefully we'll see where they'll end up at the end of the week um, and where the new guns are coming from. It's very, very important globally as well. Um, this is where we hopefully we'll see the future of Formula One drivers coming. There are four classes, Junior, Senior, DD2 and DD2 Masters. Competition will be fierce as there can only be one winner in each category. The event flags are flying and the weather is beautiful. Time to get down to business. Drivers must present passports, race licenses and entry documents for verification. They then receive barcoded ID passes and wristbands. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. Moscow. Every participant is hoping for glory. Definitely look for me because I will be at the top. I'm aiming for a top five. Ah, first. I'm going for the top spot. I'm going to finish first. Hopefully top five. Oh yeah, I can't wait to get out there, really. Here we have Marty Fullard from Alain Raceway. He's the operations manager here. Hopefully he'll be able to tell us a bit more about what's going on. Yeah, well basically, obviously we've got all these drivers come from all over the world. They've never driven the track before and they're not allowed to drive the Rotax carts until the main Grand Finals event starts. So what we've done is laid on some practice sessions in our own rental fleet. So it just gives the drivers an opportunity to get out there and learn the circuit. Over the course of the week, you'll start off with practicing on the Monday. Each day they'll have a, they'll have a warm up in the morning. Qualifying will begin on the Tuesday and on the Wednesday they'll start racing against each other for, for, for the first time and that'll be in the heats. Then we move on to the pre-finals and by the time we get to Saturday we've got the grand finals themselves. The grand finals configuration measures 1,400 metres. Circuit width varies between 8 and 12 metres and of course there are many challenging turns. As a former carter myself I think I'll try the track out for size. I've had a few laps, we'll now let the professionals get on with it. I like the track, you have very slow corners and very fast corners. Uh, it's very difficult, sometimes uh, you must break uh, way early to, get, to make the corner and sometimes you, might, you go flat out. That's practice, now time for a lap walk. So here we are at the turning point, halfway around the circuit at the end of the back straight. Drivers will reach 115 kilometers per hour as they turn in just here. You can see the marks from the tires on the curb itself as drivers attempt to straight line and get the turning point for the next corner absolutely spot on. Looking at the final corner, turn number 14. If you manage to exit this corner in first place, you're pretty much guaranteed to get to that finish line without anyone in front of you. However, if you run wide over to the left and allow somebody to dive up the inside, it's gonna be nigh on impossible to catch them before the finish line. On the grid for the cart draw itself, a very, very important part of the weekend. This is where the drivers are allocated the machine that will hopefully put them on the grid for the grand final itself. We've got four classes out here on the grid, the Junior Max, the Senior Max, DD2, and of course the DD2 Masters. Let's now go and talk to the man in charge of the draw itself. 
all the drivers align here. They, we call them in by their starting number. And then they come, their number will be scanned. And then a random system, the EVA system, a race control system, will uh, decide which car T will get out of the 72 per category. Number one.